Oh yeah. I fixed it. It took until midnight. But I fixed it. I fixed UI Bloom. I now have a very compli complicated setup that allows me to do game and UI Bloom. We've done it, boys. We have done it. I'm not going to explain how it works. But it just works. Okay. And I want to apologize for yesterday. I was too down. I tried too hard. In the end, it didn't work. I should have taken the time to, you know, step back, relax and come back with a fresh mind. But yeah, ultimately I made it work, which I'm very happy about. And now we can do Bloom both in the game and in the UI. And this is what it looks like. And without Bloom, it looks like this. Still looks okay. Good enough. I'm very happy about this. Long Nerd, hello there, you're really super cool. And also what I did is I made it so that Bloom can't blend into these characters. You can see that there's a shit ton of Bloom happening behind the character. <laughs> However, there's absolutely no Bloom happening uh, behind or, or on top of the character. They are literally drawn on top. And uh, if you guys want to know like a quick overview of how I did it. It is a little bit complicated. But essentially what I did was I had to run my game. I think it's easier explained in RenderDog actually, to be honest. It's actually, I think it's easier explained there. But that means we can finally make progress in the game. And that's the most important part. <sighs> I still have an issue with when I choose display 2 and borderless. It makes the window this small. Not sure what that is about. And then windowed version switches the window over here. So there is some stuff still wrong. Um... Which I don't know why that is, but uh, I'll have to fix that. Anyways, so if we were to capture this frame, right, in render doc, essentially what happens is I draw my game in the first pass, right? This is the first pass. Uh, we clear color to nothing, and then we draw the opaque game, which is this. Draw lighting and draw that, right? This is lighting done in this level right here. Boom. And then after we have drawn the lighting, we apply that together with... What is this, by the way? What is this? Oh, this is no bloom. This is doing bloom in the game, but we don't have anything that's worth doing bloom with. And... Uh, so essentially, we just... Wait, I feel like I missed a draw call. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. These uh, trees need to be drawn too. There you go. So essentially, that's how, we, uh, how it's done. We draw the game in its normal color, right? Then I apply lighting to its own texture, which is 240 by 135, a small texture for lighting. It's basically the same that Stardew Valley does. And then in... A final in a color pass, I apply the lighting to the background of the game, essentially. And then on top of that, I draw the transparent objects. Now, what I would have loved to do is uh, split the trees with the with the shadows, with the transparent layers, because the transparent the transparent layer the transparent layers are drawn after the lighting which makes it so that the trees will not be affected by that so i'll have to fix this 
And then, uh, yeah, the transparent objects are being drawn, which are the trees here in this case. And then, uh, as a final thing, I do bloom. In this case, bloom is nothing, because nothing is bloomed in the game. And I blit that to the back buffer, which is actually the screen. This is the screen. So now that we have this image in the screen's back buffer, you can already see that I copy over some UI stuff here. Uh, dev buffer. Um, I do the UI pass. And so I basically draw the UI like I would normally. This is just the UI. What engine is this? This is my own engine. And yesterday I added UI Bloom into the game in its own pass, which <laughs> that was a doozy, bro. But I managed to make it work eventually off stream. So I basically draw the UI in its own texture. I draw Bloom into its own texture for the UI. That's what it looks like. That's the texture for Bloom in the UI. And I draw the Dev Buffer as well. I store the dev pixels. That's very important. That's needed, right? So now that I have bloom, dev, and the picture, I can actually do bloom for the UI. That's what it looks like. Down sampled all the way to, I don't know what that size is, 60 by 80, uh, 34. And then I blit the contents of my dev texture to the actual back buffer of the screen. That's what this is called, blit uh, frame buffer. So essentially I take the dev buffer of the UI and take it into the final pass. And then I draw the UI first, ignoring dev values. So I basically, I take this image and this, this image and merge the two into this but I ignore the back buffer. I ignore this in that call because I just want to draw on top. Now that everything is drawn on top, I can start drawing the bloom. And the bloom takes the dev buffer into account. It's crazy how much that is, right? <laughs> but essentially that's how I managed to add bloom into my engine. It's not perfect. Bloom has its own layer. It's a fixed layer because Bloom is just a texture. And so if I were to apply Bloom, let's say, on top of a... On top of a... Bloom is basically behind. Dev Buffer is just an alpha mask. Dev Buffer is basically a buffer where you can get dev values. You can see right next to me here. There's a depth value of 0.9 and then where, the, where it's black, it's a depth value of zero. And anything that is less, where the white stuff is, is anything that is less than 0.9 will be discarded, will not be drawn on top. If I have something that is brighter than 0.9, like 1.0, then that would be drawn on top. Oh man, this guy again. Hey, Coden Green, good morning. Oh, you guys, I hope you guys uh, are doing good all. So that is essentially how I managed to do the bloom eventually. It took a lot of trial and error coding and a clear mind off stream. I would have probably never been able to do this on stream because you just have to sit there and stare at the screen for like 10 minutes to, to understand what you need to do. But essentially I managed to do it. I also tested or played around with Guys, the reason, <coughs> um, the reason why, by the way, the transparency didn't work yesterday was because <laughs> it was actually really stupid. Um, you know, the, where is that? No, no, it's not here. It's got to be here somewhere. The darkened backgrounds thing was happening in the loop. And so <laughs> it was applying the darkened background thing four times, which is why a value of 0.6 was completely darkening the screen. Well, because 0.6 was applied four times. And so I noticed that like, this, like these small mistakes, right? You notice these. But, you know, I tried 
testing whether my transparency for the UI is actually the same transparency as in the game. And I got really close. Like, for example, if I want to darken the background and I have this if loop here, this is drawing a world quad that is making it dark. And this is drawing a UI quad that is making it dark. And they look exactly the same. The same color. The same rendering option. If I were to turn on and uh, turn on the game and turn off the UI quad, this is what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Almost no difference. You see that? You didn't, did you see a difference? The only thing that changed was the bloom here. That looks a bit different now. But that's essentially... It looks essentially the same. Blurred box. Yes, sir. I made a blurred box just to test if it works. And so this... It's essentially the same. Which is which makes me really happy. That's nice. So, yeah. Ultimately, I managed to get it to work, guys. So now we just have to fix... Sorry. We just have to fix uh, a small little bug. And then we can finally work on this menu, which is actually supposed to be the hero selection menu when you reach a certain level in the game or a certain round in the game. Now, I noticed that... Sorry about this, guys, but I need to get some water really quickly, okay? Give me a second. Why is his feet cut? Um, that's just how it is, you know, in the game. That's just how they are drawn. forgot to get myself some water anyways so yeah is the cake sand rubbing emote gone or am i blind it's cake seven rub should be cake seven rub hello hmm? wait is it actually gone why that's odd let me find that i'm gonna get very close what are you gonna do <laughs> How do I get man, this it is done, there. man? Oh, huh? Rub 2 is there, but I not Rub. I can't dodge. I see. Oh, I see. Should I rename this to Rub? I can't rename in here, can I? Wait, Rub is still there. But wait, which one is better, guys? Wait, I can add this here, can I not? Slot assignment. Tier 119 open slots, that's not true. Can I not assign this to animated emotes? That's odd. So bad. <coughs> um, you know what? Um, <clears throat> I need water. I need water. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, here's how it's gonna go. Um, I'm going to ignore this for now. Not today. Here's how this is going to go. We're going to fix the screen issue. AKA if I do this borderless and switch display to one. Um, you can't see it right now, but this is what it looks like. It switches to the other screen, but this small. So we need to fix that. I'm going to quickly fix this issue. Then we are going to complete the menu in blazing fast speed, programming speed. And then we can finally relax because I wanted to have this done yesterday. And so we're going to do this today. Okay. Blazing fast. Insane programming speed today. Okay. Insane. 
you need to make sure that you don't blink. Because if you blink, you will miss something very important. Okay? Platform, move, window. <coughs> Excuse me. Platform, move, window. There you go. Wait. It moves the window using what size? No size at all. Mm -hmm. And then if I set this to windowed... Just ray march it, bro. <laughs> um, I have a function for this, don't I? Switch window mode. There we go. That's what it should be called. Not platform move window. If I have a different monitor. What does switch window mode mean? It m switches the mode of the window, right? So full screen is this. Boom. Platform move window. Okay, so it needs to take in the size here as well. Maybe that works already. And then go back in. Wait, that should be the full screen size if it's... <coughs> hey, my man Zend, good morning. Wait. It needs to be the size, so... It's difficult to say what size this is going to be. Because borderless doesn't change the size. So, wait. Okay, fine. How about we debug this? If I start the game, right? It starts on the other monitor. Now I'm going to type in display 2. Boom. Now, okay, it finds the chosen monitor. It's a different one. It is this monitor uh, one now. Wait, one? Yeah, the left one. <coughs> Display two. Then um, that monitor, let's see, has a size. Okay, and depending on the size or depending on the mode, but moving the window, right? Border right, boom, boom, boom. Okay. But then uh, wait. <clears throat> I think I know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. My God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, if I supply a size of nothing, then no size. Is that actually... Does no size mean... Okay. Platform add borders. How does that work? Windows dial. Previous window placement. There you go. That's the important part here. The previous window placement. Set window placement. This is where it's at, guys. And the previous window placement is a window placement thing that takes in a length flex position, normal position. Yep. Hey, <coughs> hey my man, Lolboy. Good morning. Sorry about this, guys. <clears throat> I need to, like, blow my nose. Give me a second. Is 
Then you guys can't even see. Let me let me make you guys see really quickly, okay? So you guys can actually see. Good morning, Cakes. Did you fix the blending issue? Yes. <sighs> I'll show you in a second when I'm done with this error. Okay? Because I want to make huge progress today. Huge progress. It's not going to be much interaction until I'm done. And then we can do some really cool stuff. <clears throat> I just... <sighs> You ignore us all anyways, wrong. Totally wrong. Wrong, delusional, and I don't know where that's coming from. Totally not right. <clears throat> okay, so this basically adds borders. Set window placement. I don't know what that means. I guess it stores the previous placement of the window, right? And then platform full screen borderless gets the window placement. Shouldn't I just call this function here? Get window placement. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, this is so confusing because I store the previous position with this, which makes sense. Ah, it's, hello, Inukai, my man. Good morning. Most enjoyable clown show. Yeah, sure, sure. You're wrong. So it's this previous window placement. Well, what I'm trying to fix right now is uh, when I... Can I even choose? No. Essentially, when I set... Change my display. It... Even though it should be borderless, it is this small. And that's happening because I call the platform move window function with... <coughs> A size of zero and therefore it's no longer big uh, which is a bit odd so I, I I start the game here move it to display one move it to display one boom and then it calls it with a size of zero and then I don't know whether it supplies the no size. But shouldn't no size mean don't change the size? And if it's not changing the size? But I do have a size now. Oh, I see. Because of the border. I get it now. But it's still an issue with window mode or not. So, okay. Um, int. Oh, what is this? Flags? What does it want? This? Is it a D word? It's an int. Okay. Int flags is... Do we have size? Zero. Otherwise, SWP no size. Now that makes it so that the window will not move. Okay, that's fixed. Or oh, the window will not change size if I call this without size. Awesome. Now, however, when I toggle the uh, when I toggle this window, right? From where is that? I think it's down here somewhere. Toggle full screen and uh, add borderless. Yeah, toggle full screen. Actually, toggle full screen. Yeah, full screen is the same thing. Wait, toggle for... Uh, let's not talk about toggle full screen, but let's talk about add borders and remove borders. So basically, this is toggle, but in two functions. Uh, it's storing the previous window placement 
because then it can set the window position width and height and uh, yeah the position properly set window placement basically this stores the window placement and then if it's wait add borders wait, wait does what does set window placement do it sets wait it's called set window placement <clears throat> it copies this over right it wait but what is get window placement then wait set window placement and i need to read up on this let's see all right let's see here set window placement set window placement sets oh wait sets the show state and the restored minimized or maximized positions of the set specified window okay handle to the window window placement structure that specifies the new show state the new show state okay Ugh. not sure what that means and then gets window placement get window placement function <coughs> excuse me guys retrieves the store uh, show state and the stored minimized positions of the window so this is getting it and the other one is setting it not sure what that means because then we still call a set window position here with all of this stuff it's getting it here monitor default full screen monitor default top primary monitor from window set window placement it just sets the placement in the window properties you need to call it set window position actually events uh, in the window proc which refers the refreshes the window with the actual style yeah this right remove the overlapped Send window long. This is so confusing. There's so many different things. Why can't it just be set the window position and I'm done? Can't I just call this all the time? Do I even need this? Like, can't I just call this? That's what I'm thinking, right? If I say, okay, I want to make this borderless. Well... I get the window style and I just set the position to this well okay well it needs to get a monitor right and MI is uh, I get from here but what does this uh, do monitor default what does this mean what is that thing <clears throat> returns a handle to the primary display that's wrong I don't want the primary display I want the what is this what is this thing monitor wait no nearest bro monitor from point Returns a handle to the display monitor that is nearest to the point. Ah, that's what I want. In this case, actually. I just got lucky here, so that would be nearest. I want the nearest monitor based on which placement. Where the window is, I guess, right? So that's what I want. And why would I need the window placement here? I think this is totally useless. You need the window placement to restore the window. But I I don't think I need to do that because I have the window style. So if I want to make it full screen borderless, I need to keep the previous window placement.
Okay. But then I'm confused. Because I move the window here. Let me see. Switch window mode, I see. So I guess I would probably have to move the window here first. And then switch the window mode, right? First move the window and then switch the mode. Because if I switch the mode to borderless, it starts the wrong position. <coughs> I think that's the issue. Move the window to the chosen monitor. But that should be done and then I switch the mode, right, if that changed. Windows is such a dumb API that I don't even remember the last window size when going full screen. I see, so whenever I go full screen or... I see, so I need to store the previous position. The previous thing. But it doesn't really, like... To be honest, I don't need that. I think. But okay. We move the window to the chosen monitor here. And then this is the switch window mode. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's close, but almost there. So okay, fine. <coughs> Get window placement. I toggle the ball at his previous window placement. Boom. I think I might I might have fixed it already. I think I might have fixed it. Just save the window placement on change. Let's see. It might still behave weirdly. Let's see here. Okay, so it moves over to display 2. Display 1. Works. Windowed is on this here, stores the actual position. Now I move it. I said borderless. I said windowed is in the same position. Now I move it over here and I set display 2 and it is already on display 2. Set it to display 1. Yeah, set it to display 2. It moves it over here. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, this is okay. Move it to display 1. Move it to display 2. Make it borderless. Make it windowed. Stores it like this. That's fine. I think that's fine. Moving it to a certain display. I mean, I might as well do it like this. But yeah. I think I'm happy with this. That's good enough. At least display 1 and 2 work when on full screen borderless. The tragedy of yesterday made you grow as a programmer and you are finally reading docs. I finally want to get over with this shit. So, this is basically for those of you... <laughs> keep moving the window around. This is basically what I did yesterday off stream. I managed to do it. This is the final result. We can change the bloom to make the glow more intense or less intense. I now have bloom in the UI and the UI is properly blended. To the point where it is good enough. It is not perfect, but good enough. You managed to make exclusive full screen as well. I think I managed to do it, yes. Might not have done it, but maybe I have. So it is full screen. It will go black for you, but for me it is instant. And then uh, I can still switch monitors. Windowed. I think I have it. Might not. I can't really tell if it's exclusive full screen or not. But essentially, now that I have this tech done, right? All of this tech. Guys, it is time. The destiny has arrived. We can't do it now. Which means we can open up this coding thing here. And we can finally, finally... do something where is this we can open up, open up that game thing here and so over here we darken the background using obviously the ui boom 
Is this you? I yes. It's the first thing. Boom. It's like what? Uh, it's the light. Walk into the light. What's bright? White square. The center. This is just a debug thing. Here. Uh, I think it's this. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, I tried out different blending factors for uh, sorry for the blending mode of Bloom. So what I figured out was in the renderer, right? When I do the final Bloom thing, now the white square is gone. When I do the final Bloom thing, right, at the very bottom, when I draw Bloom, I enable dev testing so I don't draw over those sprites here. So Bloom is only behind them. But then I set the blend factor here. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, by the way, and I achieved the bloom in the shader by basically drawing in modes like 0, 1, and 2. <laughs> it's essentially just uh, 0 is game plus bloom, 1 is UI, and 2 is UI bloom. Essentially, but th that's beside the point. Yeah, well that can go away now. Um, I managed to find two blending modes for the final draw call in Bloom. Uh, Obo, thank you very much for following. So that, that's supposed to be a bit thing. That look kind of decent. So this is the number two is the, the one I chose ultimately. But, you know, this is number one. <coughs> They look almost exactly the same. However, the bloom here in the middle seems to be much brighter. This part in the middle here. And I, uh, oops, I don't think I have maximum bloom. It's almost exactly the same, so it's not really much of a difference. But I noticed that this one right here is a little bit brighter. You can't really tell, right? Actually, I think it's almost exactly the same, to be honest. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, those two, I'll still decide on which one I pick. But that's not what we want to do today. Choose hero. Choose hero glow. That's what we want to work on today. So... Now, I have a list of unlockable heroes, right? <clears throat> and I suppose we have the correct modal. Unlock hero modal is pushed. I want to click on a hero. Or, let's first... Now we can do our balloons thing. Let's see. YouTube, video, recordings, balloons, new gameplay. Here we go. Somewhere here. Where is it? It's gotta be here somewhere, right? Here. Okay, so I wonder how this works. Please click on one. Aha, so you can just click on them and then it draws the selection over them. Okay. And the animation for this is... How is it done? Let's slow this down. Should happen when he kills them. Boom. Level up, boom, then you click on it. I think you have to click on it. Yeah, you click on it. And then this moves up here. This moves up here and this just zooms in. Okay. I wanted to do an animation similar to this. You know, that should be simple to do. So we have like a static flow timer, which by default is zero. And then every single thing here is no longer a const. Can no longer be a const. Needs to be multiplied by that t value. A timer. Actually, um, t, I guess. So float t is ease. 
out back timer and then we multiply that by t uh, oh yeah this is supposed to be a vector too and so what i want to do here is a uh, timer is the minimum of one and timer plus delta time times like i don't know two or something now that's a uh, 0.5 second animation oh yeah and this is point of and point of so the engine knows aha interesting let's see how that looks didn't i build yeah i'm stupid didn't i build I mean, that's not bad, right? They kind of like show up. Let's make the uh, delta time 0.5, right? <clears throat> and whether I try tabbing out, then you will know for the exclusive full screen. That's so fast and it, they don't change size. That's interesting. Ah, I see. I know why. Um, when we draw the sprite, wait, no, we draw the sprite here, idle sprite size times two times T. There we go. Okay. So that would be the size now. And then the glow. I wonder, is there something selected by default? This thing is really laggy. I don't know why, for some reason, this is so laggy. I couldn't see it now because it just lagged. Click. Okay, so one thing is there by default. If I take a look again. Okay, there it is. It's going to show up now. Come on. Bloop. This has got to be an animation, right? I think they animated that. Interesting. Really cool. Yeah. Click. Click on it. Come on. Hmm. Aha. Interesting. So they like, they zoom, the entire thing gets zoomed in. Huh, I wonder how they do that. Very interesting. Yes. And there's another T here. Like That's bad. So I would call this, uh, I guess, um, how do we call this, guys? NMT? Animation timer, animation timer, NMT. Maybe this. Guys, good morning. I will quickly do the menu that I wanted to do yesterday. And then we can hang out, right? Game's working, interesting. Of course it's working. I said till 1am to fix this shit. Well, we multiply this size by the animation. There you go. <coughs> TCAP would not approve of shorting variable names. Who cares? All right, let's see. Uh, there is an error here, looks like. Yeah. Let's take a look at how that zooms in. Well, I'm going to make the timer small enough so we could... Okay. Interesting. That's some interesting stuff here. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I just want to make this window a bit smaller so we can see this. 
Let's see that animation again. I don't like it. Like, how about this? Vec 2 of... This is the hero wrecked size, right? I don't want that to change. If anything, I want the padding to change. So how about we say, okay, well, it's always going to be at least 40 by, I suppose, um, 60, right? But then we scale the second one, which is 24 by zero, right? So we, we have that and then the padding, it's no longer const. The padding, is a minimum of 10 plus 20 times NMT. So then we have like a minimum, a minimum thing that where they like hopefully, yeah, and let's make this 0.25 so we can see this much better or maybe 0.1. Just came here, the glow is gorgeous. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I spent a lot of time on this. Okay, let's make this point one so I can actually see what's going on. Because I think the glow is in the wrong location. No, the glow is just not scaled. The glow is not scaled, yeah, because it's not scaled here. Yeah, this one is scaled, it looks like, or is it? That should be scaled. Uh, but this one is not scaled. So, um, sprite, choose hero glow, is get sprite, sprite, choose hero glow. There we go. And again, guys, I want to apologize for yesterday. Um... <clears throat> It wasn't a good stream. I wasn't having much fun. I should have quit earlier. Okay. Now, the animation looks good enough, I think. Maybe it should have a minimum size, right? So like, for example, we could say, okay, well, I want half the size to be there. Sorry for not quitting, sounds strange. Nah, like, I was not having fun, you know. I was not having... Uh, yeah, I was not putting out good energy. You know. It wasn't a good stream. Um, but today we will make big progress. We will... Uh, wir holen das von gestern wieder auf. Ich schwöre. Vertrau mir. What's up? Okay, bro. Hello, Cupertino. It was more fun than your React content. I don't think so, bro. Seeing a broken man, I don't believe that. All right, so the idea would be if we take the choose hero size, we divide that by four, and then we add choose hero size. You know what? How about we just call this sprite size? To zero glow dot size right now we have the sprite size I'm gonna have sprite size divided by two plus sprite size divided by two times the animation now we scale from half huh <laughs> They shouldn't start that small. Did I do a mistake here? <coughs> Am I blind? Spreche kein Deutsch. Was bedeutet das? Hey? Gotcha, bitch. Swords Rebel, thank you very much for following. You called it. You got your head stuck in. I called it a win. I call it a win. The yelling and raging is due to brain deficiency, which is a known fact. In a Shut up. Cakes it off. 
had videos about toddlers ripping over do they enjoy it of course not but it doesn't mean that it's not fun to watch yeah but it was more sad than like angry i have something big planned for today guys i have something big planned for today boys okay okay you Huh? Shouldn't this be like... Oh wait, that's the glow. I'm a stupid idiot. That's actually the glow. <clears throat> I was looking at this, the sprites and was like, Hey, what? This is the idle sprite that I'm talking about. So essentially what I want to do here for the size of this thing, basically the same as the other one. We take the vector sprite size, which is idle sprite dot size. And then we say, okay, well, sprite size, you know, and this is also the reason why Stardew Valley is playing right now is because I want to get inspired by this guy. Okay. You guys think my game will take seven years? Absolutely not! Okay, just wait. My wife just interrupted me. My flaw. So, all fault. Bitch! That makes no sense. Absolutely does not make any sense. Sprite size plus sprite size. Maybe that. Ooh, I know what the problem is. The clamor here. We can't clamor in this case. We should not clamor. <laughs> Those guys are huge. All right, that's it. This is it. Seven years, I don't mean to for them. Oh, no, just wait, just wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. There we go. So basically, this is sprite size. Oops, what the fuck did I do here? Interesting. There we go. Now it's starting to look kind of like Bloons-ish, right? But with my own spin. Cool. Now that we have this animation, we can speed it up. To make it look good. The speed up would happen here. Um, I wonder if it's 0.5 or 0.25. But this is essentially the idea. Uh, watch. Wait, it's that slow? Wait, no. Times 2. Sorry. Not 0.5. What do you guys think? Is it a bit too fast? Should I use delta time? I think it's too slow. Maybe 1.5. It has to, the entire animation has to happen in this duration, but maybe 0.5 is good. Maybe I have to do two. So we eliminate the, you know, the, the thing here. Yeah, I think this is good enough. All right, now that we have this, right, we need to work on actually choosing a hero. Whenever I click with the mouse, I want to choose the hero and then display some text that is associated with that hero. All right. So, for example, uh, that as I've already uh, added to this static here, which is this thing, the chosen hero, chosen hero index. The thing is, if it's a static, right? Um. I need to make sure that I clear this every time I leave this window, right? I have this here, if it's the same as the chosen hero index. But now we need to do left clicks. We want to do the glow. 
But we wanna do more, right? It's not chosen yet. So essentially, I wanna swap this with this if check here. Actually... Let's call it double glow. Um, like this. Double glow. So we draw on top. Wait, the content is already there, right? So we don't need to increase the layer here. Double glow. We draw the first glow and the second glow. And then we draw the sprite on top there. Boom. Wait, the content has a layer of one, which... Uh, I have a layer problem right now. I think. Eh? Why is it completely gone? I'm confused. So I do plus one. And I do minus one. I do plus two, minus two. Ah! No, wait. I should always draw the sprite. Of course. Right? I think it makes no difference whether I draw the sprite first or not. This should work. Should be using delta 10 on every variable assignment. Yeah. Alright, now we have this. The sprite appears. How do we check whether if key pressed this frame, key left mouse, then If we have the left mouse key, hello there, uh, frog boy on YouTube. If <coughs> then I want to set the chosen hero index to the choice index. I think we just keep it, to be honest. I think it's actually that simple. It doesn't matter. If it's the same, it just keeps the selection from the previous one. Oh yeah, I mean, if I press the left mouse and point in rect. Rect center. I think I want a rect center, right? Because we have a choice. Choice. Position. Wait a minute. Wait, the rect is here, right? So that would be input. Word, posi mouse, position, word. And the rectangle would be the choice position and the choice size. There we go. If it's in the choice and uh, we click the left mouse, then also, for debug reasons, draw UI coward. I want to draw the choice position with the choice size in red. Just to debug this really quickly. Where is the rectangle actually? I thought so. Um, I think these rectangles are... Okay, well, let's do choice size minus two. Make it a bit smaller. No more blending today. Blending is done. I'll show you. Wow. Minus four. They bleed on top of each other for some reason. It looks like. Still. Wait a minute. Choice size. Oh! It's not a choice size. It's hero rect size. Sorry about this. So hero. Hero rect size. Okay. Choice size. I need to probably get rid of this constant. How does this look? Haha. <laughs> Guys, do you think that this rectangle is a little bit too small? 
Because I can click between the two and it doesn't change. Or is it fine? Now we can select the euro. It's fine. Fine. We'll keep it like this. The effect's too small. The effect's not too small. Watch. The effect is absolutely not too small. You just think it's too small because of the red box. It's not too small. Alright, next. Now that we have this done. And the reason why this gets so crazy bright is because of the bloom. I have it on too, but if I have it like normal, it looks more natural, right? I usually, usually like bloom one somewhere here is good. You have to be so bad if you miss. I mean, even if you miss, you could still click on something else, right? It's fine. All right. So now that we can select the hero, right? Um, let's see. Now that we can select, I want to draw. Oh, I have an idea. Content, yeah. Darken background first, yeah. And then these are the overlays. Slash. Yeah, overlays. It's basically like the uh, do pause menu. Do pause label. Let's just do the pause label here for a second. I'm not going to do the pause label. I just want to see how it looks. Paused. Okay. Guys, we could take this and then now this looks awful, awful, awfully similar to Bloom's. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that's a big problem. Instead of doing the pause label. We can draw... Yeah. We can draw the sprite here. <coughs> Yoink again. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. Nobody has to know exactly. Set that to, I don't even know, green? Should I put it to green? I think it is 20, right? Why select four? I forgot how it works on balloons. Um, no, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be uh, four, actually. It's probably going to be... Oh yeah, I forgot to make it centered as well. It doesn't have to be four. Uh, I just have four right now for debugging purposes. But it will be... It can also be less. Render options is centered. And then I want to outline the text. And maybe I want to have a font size of 1.5. Let's see how that looks. Do we fix Bloom? Yes, we did. I'll show you in a second. Choose a hero. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I think it's time that we increase the layer by at least 5. Oh, you want to change layer? Guys, 
Guys, I saw... Uh, change. I saw Travis Roman streaming yesterday. Has any one of you watched him? I didn't manage to catch him or to go on because I had to go to sleep, but uh, I saw he went online. Let's see. All right, so now everything except for those two buttons. Okay. Except for those two buttons. All right. Choose a hero. Is this too big? Travis Roman. Vulcan. Vulcan engine developer. What should I use? Uh, frame time or delta time? Delta time. Um... Well, um, gotcha, bitch. that is a question that needs further explanation since you don't seem to know the difference between frame time and delta time. Um, so, I guess I'll explain that really quickly. Right, so let's say... You have a renderer. You have a renderer and you have your window. These are two things. Same shit. It's not. It's not. And then you have your game. These are three different logical units. I think what ultimately needs to be told here is that while yes you can you know the frame time can be the same as the render no the delta time right that can be the case let me see here put that to the left a little bit more while this can be the case right let me put this here the frame time refers to the game's updating and sends data over to the renderer. So basically the game updates and sends data. Update, send, render, data, right? That's what the game would do to the renderer. Now the renderer then renders the frame and blitz it to the window, right? Render slash blit. Blit is called, it basically, it draws a new picture on your window. That's what the renderer does, right? It takes in this data, does shit, and then renders, aka blitz that stuff to the window. And right, and then the window just shows this, right? And that is usually what you call frame time. That's usually what you call frame time. Okay. Now, delta time can be the same as the frame time can be if. You just let your game run this way. But what you can do is also, if if this loop is very fast, like loop is very fast, if the loop is very fast, if loop is very fast, so like for example, 1200 FPS, then you could say, oh well, cool, my game runs really fast, but I only want to update my game in a fixed update. I only want to update my game, let's say, once every 60 seconds. Or like Unity, in Unity that would be once every, I think, 50 seconds, right? That would be Unity. I don't know about other engines. And so what you would do then is, the render data is still sent to the renderer every frame. It still blitz to the window every frame or every 
like as fast as it can essentially but the game only updates at a fixed delta time sorry about that at a fixed delta t no that's not actually how what i wanted sorry this at a fixed delta time of let's put a text here one divided by 60 or one divided by 50 okay that is a what that is what they call a fixed time step and that fixed time step is then different than the frame time because the frame time can be as small as it is like that's essentially one divided by the 1200 right that's what the frame time would be one divided by uh 1200 okay so that is the oh maybe i should have done this green like one divided by 1200 right and so your question is whether you should use the fixed time step or the unlocked time step essentially how fast it can be and uh, usually when you do physics you want to use a fixed time step because the faster your game runs the smaller the time step gets the more expensive the physics gets the physics is ex expensive especially in 3d games and so you have to be careful not to call it too often and there's other issues too but that's essentially the difference now you can make your own decision on what you want to use but in the beginning it's it's easy to use frame time instead of delta time but maybe delta time makes sense for you you should experiment with the two and then experience some bugs and then maybe you see the bugs and you're like oh now he's even more confused no i think it makes sense like basically the delta time what you choose to do here with the fixed gotcha, update you only update your simulation like your physics moving characters um i don't know falling trees down whatever you like basically everything that has to do with like game logic right you only update that at a fixed rate then the delta time is different okay it is right down here this is not the same that's the idea let's go back to this right so what we were working on is selecting a hero and then uh displaying some information about the hero that means we have to change the data for each hero that makes the hero what it is um do i want to have like the own want to have that disconnected from the entity so essentially what i need right now is basically like a string id right string id like a description right description string id or basically a description string id and that string id would basically be there what the hero is just like a balloons here right track shooter shoots a short range value of sharp tracks in eight direction right cold monkey i don't know what this guy is called and so i need to have a name for each hero and their description so basically we need to have two string ids string id or name string string id name or like name name and description i guess two string ids and i could put this on the entity but it makes the entity bigger doesn't matter if it's here or not a short is a short oh i see ah, is, are you talking about this guy i thought you guys would actually engage with what i'm doing but no oh this guy make his father again do you fucking realize do you fucking realize that I am doing this because I want to teach people, help people out to make games, especially in C++. You Dumbo, huh? Teach me, daddy. That's why I made a tutorial on YouTube. Again! Just like... Ah. Fucking dark oh my god! Tell me. This is bugged. Mm. 
Ja. 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 Oh no. No. I'm not falling down again, guys. <laughs> takes your like Win69 giving advice on lol iron takes you're wrong you're wrong it's not like I have been programming for like two weeks and I try to give advice to people it's it's been over four years now you're wrong and just wait until my game released you will all shut up you know everyone's saying that my advice doesn't hold true just wait Wait until my game is released. Mm. Mm. I'm not Iron 2, C++, you're wrong. I'm literally Diamond. Minimum. I'm Diamond or Masters. Alright, I guess I will put it here. It was a steady climb. True. Pick some sugar to soothe the nerves. It was a steady, steady climb through. Four years of mediocre coding does not make an, one an expert. Just wait. Wait until my game's released. You guys will all shut up. Okay. All right. Now. Bloop. Awesome. Looks nice. We can choose this. By the way, for those of you uh, who didn't catch it in the beginning, I managed to fix Bloom on the UI and I managed to fix the UI. I now have Bloom, Transparency, and um, in the UI and in the game. And we can, uh, yeah, I mean, this is currently on top, right? Which is bad, but you're not supposed to choose options here. But uh, yeah, we can change the Bloom levels using options. Looks good now, thank you. Yeah, I think I managed to make it as good as possible as I can with my current setup. So... Now what we have to do is basically work on mm, uh, fixing everything and cleaning up. So for example, calculate correct position, middle, we can get rid of the middle here, we don't need that anymore. And now these two buttons still show up, they shouldn't show up and I, it should also make me like an invisible button at the top here. Invisible button to dis to disable clicks and then also what i need to do is uh, paused is true and it looks like this paused thing is only happening further down there's like a variable a uh, level state paused i see should be called level state paused then not paused fine level state paused because when this happens the level should pause, right? Eh? Pause. Is paused, I see. A given who got grade on C with classes, or I guess C with some functions and stru structures. There we go. Now it's. Um, okay. Uh, to do. This doesn't, doesn't work. Not sure why. Alright, let's pretend this works, right? Because I don't want to do this right now. Invisible button to disable click. So, uh, do button invisible. That would be word size. Wait, how about we do a menu template? Do menu. No, not do. Template. No, underscore temp. Draw menu template. I say I should. It's called draw menu template. Let's check this function. Can I not go there? Yeah, we can. Uh, it does an invisible button like this. Okay. Essentially, we just want to do the button to disable the clicks. And no ignore region.
There we go. Invisible button. Next. It looks like we have to increase the layer even further. But let's see. Do options button. Oh, uh, no. It's not the hatch. Mm. Let me think. I really like that to do a comment. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? Uh, let me check and think really quickly. Mm, it's not a options button, but it's a um, hero list. Hero list. No. Hero list. There we go. And here on the hero list, I have an options button. It's all five. Green arrow, minus five. Background, content, green arrow, draw unit, draw sprite, hero list offset, spawn hero, selected hero, health globe. Now that's the Diablo bar. We can get rid of that. Don't have to take a look at this. Aha. That's some bullshit. Show hero bar. Um, I know that the options button is here. I must have missed that. It's gonna be a do button. Do button invisible? Not that. Do button invisible, skill bar center. Background button to disable clicks, okay. Do button, draw ability with socket. Green arrow, green arrow. Okay, well, um, uh, assets, button, options. Yeah, sprite, button, options. Okay, sprite, button, options. Wait, I have this only once? Do options button? Main menu? Town? Hey, where is this button? Right. Round display. Gold display. No. Seats. Let me find this. Uh... Bro! You kidding me, bro? Heading. Heading name. No. Two choice. Brother. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Like, I can't find this. I'm getting triggered already. Update level. No, we're not getting triggered because then we do terrible coding. We can't do this. There it is. Draw level on top. Hearts. Seats. Spawn count? Rounds? Where is the fucking button? Where is this button? I can't believe this! Hä? Huh? Game? Wait, wait, wait. I know. Push. Modal. Options menu. Options button! Button cock? It's a cock button? Where is that? In the speed buttons and level state. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Yeah. So this is why I want to get rid of these dog shit level states. Because these buttons should always be there. Right? So let's get rid of this right now. Goodbye. These are modals. Draw level info on top. There we go. See, draw level info on top. And then these are the buttons that are always there. And by the way, push, my man, if you're here, thank you so much for the Vim thing. I wonder if I can just do this. Let's see. Should still be able to do that, right? Don't see any difference. Not sure why it doesn't show me a speed up button, but maybe that's because we are not in the correct level state. But that could be done with a boolean, right? That's fine. Cake struggling to find his cock. <laughs> yes. really pissing me off sometimes yeah uh, uh, curly braces should be on another line why because it behaves exactly the same as with uh, local scopes in my opinion a local scope 
Should be. You don't do a local scope like this, right? You can't. So a local scope, in my opinion, a curly brace and an if statement creates a new local scope, should behave exactly the same. You have the heading here, like the comment, and then you have the local scope opening up down. Behaves exactly the same. I keep that consistent. All right, now, this cork button here, push modal options menu. I wanted to see, so they draw on five here, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Re vertical space. Who cares about vertical space? Good song. Good song, brother. Good song. Really good song, bro. Very nice. Alright. Draw level info on top. More dials. Boom. So that means we have to take and make... We have to draw the more dials 10 pixels up. Cakes, thank you. Oh, this is from Juve Rich. Yeah, good song, bro. Really nice. I like it. Alright, now it should be... Everything should be behind and I can't click on anything other than on those heroes. That's really important. I don't know why the level is still running, but that's what we have. There we go. And now that we can click on them, we need to display the name and the description of the hero. So, in order to do that, we need to create hero names. Guys, I need your help. What should this hero be named? We need a name for the hero. What is this hero name? If you want to participate... Maybe uh, we can do it like this. You guys, give me a hero name. Kevin, Carl, Dees, Cake Ball, Santa. Oh, because of the hat. Quinn. Hey, guys. Inuka's grandma, Hattie. Ranger. I have a question for you guys. A simple uh, drawing question for you. Right? It's something on my mind uh, that's been on my mind for a while. Let me show you what I mean. So, you know we have these different oranges, right? And you also know that this guy right here is basically like the, the first unit to have all of the items completed for him, right? He has essentially, uh. except for weapons, uh, except for uh, equipment, he has all of the items unlocked. Now, what does that mean? Let's mark this here. I always need a lot of preparation. Let's see. Load. Now, that song is not that great. Uh, load. Game. We don't have a safe stage. Um, upgrade the first weapons of each hero. Let me see. It's gotta be a debug thing. Unlock all weapons for the defender. Guys, should I add a console to the game at some point so I can debug the game a little bit better while the game's running? And then the console has all of these commands plus functions. I mean, we could watch TCAP's video. The hero is short. I think he should be called Tyler 1. <laughs> no. So essentially what I need to do is um, weapon upgrades on... Uh, wait, uh, hero weapon upgrades, item upgrades, hero count. Weapon upgrades on hero defender. Uh, that would be item upgrades. Right, and then um, four. What do we have here? Item upgrades has choices. Oh my god. Uh, int i is zero. i is less than 
max item upgrades, I++. Plus plus. I just want to make a really quick loop. Then we get the item choice out of the hero weapon upgrades. This is just for the defender. On I. And then we do another for loop because the choice has three choices. Right? So int j is zero, j is less than max item choices. No, not upgrades, but choices. J plus plus. And I know this goes against what I said yesterday, but I just want to write this really quickly and be done with it. Because it's more important what this actually means. Hmm. But item choices. Item. This is an item. Um, item choice on J. I guess it's called items, right? So now we have the item, and then we can do save state unlocked items on item is true. So basically, this locks all of unlocks all of the items. For the defender. Boom. Programming Minecraft in J after. Wizard. Now. Now that we have this. I can restart the game. And the defender should have all of the items. So here's where the question comes in. Right. Um, well I can't click on this. So let's mark this as B. Switch back to A. And then do false. So we disable this menu. Now here's where the uh, the interesting part comes in. Okay, you can see this unit has basically nothing on him. He's naked, right? He just has a weapon and nothing else. Now, if we take a look at all of the other characters, this ranger has a... It's basically... Uh, this used to be green, but I made it red for Christmas. Basically a Christmas hat. This mage looks really cool, right? He looks awesome. He has a wizard hat and he has a wizard rope. Now my question is the following. This is what I can do with the defender. Watch this. Oh, I didn't unlock equipment. Fuck. Wait. Armor choice and the unlocked items on item 2 is also true. Um, yeah, I needed to do that too. Who drew that mage? I drew that mage. Actually, who drew the mage? I don't know if I drew the mage. I think I did. Alright, let me show you. Now I can actually show you. Huh? Wait, actually I can't. Huh? Oh. Huh? See, when I call one thing hero weapon upgrades, no wait, weapon upgrades, armor upgrades. It's gotta be armor upgrades, right? See, I get it now. See, like when I call one thing weapon upgrades and the other thing is called what? Equipment upgrades. Fucking hell, man. How about I call it armor upgrades, bro? Stupid. Hero armor upgrades. There we go. Let's change that down here. It's a better name. And it's down here as well. Maybe there was a dumb change. I'm gonna re-change that. I'm changing it. Fine. Fuck. 
No. Not listening to this. Sorry, guys. I hate that shit. I hate that. Absolutely. You will not make me listen to this shit. Absolutely not. No. No. It's totally not my type of song. Nope. There we go. Okay. Quickly fix that. So, the, to finally get to the question that I actually wanted to ask. I think I have to test around with this, but essentially this is what I can do with my defender. If I have all of the items unlocked, you see how he starts naked, right? And now watch what happens as I give him more equipment, right? We can do this with multiple defenders, right? For example, I choose to use this one right here. Now he has... The Augenklappe in English. Okay. This guy can get a helmet. Okay. Now watch this. I have a shield here. Bloop. Now he has a shield. See that? And I can choose to give this guy an amulet that has no effect. No visual effect. Right? You see what happens? You mean an eye clap? Yeah, I don't know what that's called in English, but I guess eye clap. And now this guy can also get this helmet here. Boom. But then this guy chooses to be more like a barbarian. Eye patch. And now this guy is like, okay, wait. I want to go for maximum bleed damage. I get myself this. While this guy is like, okay, I want to be a big dick armor guy. And now he has a shield. You see this? And so... What I mean by this is I can choose different weapons. And armor pieces to make them look cooler. And I've done this for the defender already, right? They can get crazy cool items and equipment. However... However... Helmets are pretty big. Yeah, but why not, right? Big swords. If I already start out with items equipped on the units, it is difficult to draw, let's say, for example, if we were to take this guy, right? If we were to take this guy, and I want to give him, like, I don't know, let's say some leather helmet. It is difficult to give him a leather helmet on top because this will always bleed through, right? If this is, like, for example, the leather helmet that I'm envisioning. Like, I don't know, maybe like a cap, right? Something like that, right? I want to give him a cap. Baseball, uh, baseball caps. <laughs> I don't know, you know? Look at him. Maybe with something like this. I don't know. <laughs> Looks so stupid. But you see what I mean? I need to create a base sprite without the Santa hat, right? And then also without the eye patch here. But then this one is essentially the same as this one. So the only difference would be basically the facial expression and their hair. So if I want to give the cleric a helmet, I have to take the hair into account, right? Like a crown would be possible. Something like, I don't know. Let's say we have a crown here. I don't know. Or diadem in English, right? Something like that would be possible. Looks kinda ass right now, but you know what I mean, right? Guys, like a crown. I think it would look more like that, actually. I don't know, something like this. Whoever mentioned Tyler one earlier, I made me generate a meme that sums up yesterday's stream. Wait, that uh, did that question not occur to you before investing time drawing everything? I know you didn't plan much ahead, but this is mad. No, like the game just evolved. In the beginning, 
Like, listen, bro, in the beginning, I had much different characters. I drew so many different characters all the time. It's crazy how many I drew. So, like, this just stuff is just... Is it a hat or a hair? This is, like, basically an orange with leaves. But be before you drew all the equipment? You mean this equipment here? No, no, this is how I want it to be now. You know, with the helmets and where's that? Yeah, these are the shields and helmets for the defender. It's right here. Right? I really like juicy Gandalf. Yeah, so what will we do with Gandalf? I guess we just give him... We just give him a rope and the rope has to change. I think the rope has to stay on Gandalf because I'll show you. He needs fancy staffs. Yeah, staves are like weapons. I have one stave already, which is this. We just didn't draw more. Yeah, but before you draw the equipment, yeah, for one defender. So I think it would be cool. Different colored wizards wizard ropes and then maybe like glowing i don't know not glowing but yeah the rope can change but um i can unequip the hat from the wizard and give him like an old leaf or something <laughs> to make make it look like he's old yeah and then the hat could be something equipment but the rope uh, has to stay on the wizard the reason why the rope has to stay on the wizard is because if, uh, if you take a look at this selection here, the box is six pixels tall. And if I move this selection over here, you can see that the rope is actually seven pixels tall. So the rope basically bleeds in and out a pixel. And the way I programmed in the equipment on the units is I individually move this together with the body. If the body moves one down, this one moves one down as well. Bloop. Blop, blop, blop. That's essentially how I do it. Yeah. That's what I, it looks like. The unit is like a little bit animated, right? So I think that's how I'm going to do it, which means the ranger is going to lose his head soon. And yeah, the ranger is going to lose his head and the mage is also going to lose his head. And then I need to create a different facial expression for each orange. Like, for example, this orange right here has a sexy mouth and eyes, right? This one maybe needs more, I don't know, uh, angry eyes, like <clears throat> something like that. And maybe this one, uh, I think this one is fine, can have the same eyes because he has different eyebrows. That's the idea of the game. So basically, your characters visibly get crazier the more equipment they have right you could go for maximum maximum craziness with this bloom and then this would be the final final weapon and this guy could have this demon's bane thing you can manage equipment without removing the base rope and head else the base towers will look boring. No, I don't think so. Because I can give each base tower is his own facial. Like, the, look at this. This is a different base tower than this. But it, it's supposed to be that way. The base tower is supposed to look bad. Because the upgrades are supposed to look cool. Am I so out of touch? No. Anonymous is gifting one subs to the community. Oh man, I appreciate it. Trump's your dad. Really, he is. Where's my one million dollar loan, man? I need that. I uh, maybe two. Cause he's a nice guy, and right, he would give me two. We can have a slim base orange. Yeah. So essentially, I managed to figure out what we need to do here. This is what we're gonna do. All right. Let's go back to programming this. This could be a function. To do, this could be a console function. I might do GCAP's tutorial at some point. Because the console could be a good idea here. Right, let's switch back to this. 
So what we need to do is change the description of each hero. Let's start with the ranger. Hero ranger. So, hero, description. We need to make a string, guys. Any idea? Hero names and descriptions. String. Guys, name for the ranger. What did you guys say earlier? Tyrone, Hattie, Harry Potter, Jamal, Rizmaster, Clown77, Santa, Quinn, Cakeball, Carl, Kevin. Like, what are you guys? <laughs> what is that? What are you talking about, bro? Tyrone? Are you you're watching too much Quinn, is that? Like, isn't Tyrone like a Quinn thing? Anita Digimel. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it Ranger then. You guys have shitty suggestions. You know what? No, actually. I have an idea. I actually have an idea. Uh, hero names. Uh, unit names. Bloons. Hero. Uh, wait. What is a good game as well with ranged units? Uh, unit names. Um, okay, let's start with this. Buccaneer, Dart Monkey. This guy's called Dart Monkey. What about the Sniper Monkey? Sniper. It's called Sniper Monkey. Okay. Maybe it should just be called String Ranger Tangy. Maybe it's just the Ranger Tangy. What do you guys think? Just the Ranger Tangy. Do you have any good other names? Looks good. Ranger, Oranger, Max Range, Tanger, Deadeye. So, like, to give you guys some idea about this unit, right? This unit is going to use elemental attacks. Ice and fire damage. That's what this one is going to use. And so there will be another Ranger... ...that uses bleeding or maybe this guy just gets everything he gets physical ice and fire elemental bow fruit now nah, maybe we just call him ranger ranger tanger avatar tangy no he's he can do well fuck man it's difficult to say how about we just call it Ranger Tangy for now? And then uh, description string Ranger Tangy name. And then Ranger Tangy description. I don't know yet, guys. How about this? Right, we keep it like that for now. Why not German's names? It would be cool. Well, Ranger is the same in German. I think. Is it though? Not sure actually. Ranger Tenji. Um, uh, specializes. In ranged combat using. I guess we'll make this red. Fire. Blue. Ice. My man. Thank you. Thank you very much, Code Agree. I really appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. Code and Gree, my man, thank you for three dollars. Kekes, I have a question for you, since you are a relationship pro. 
My friend Mike Hawk is in love with my cunt, but can't stand her smelly sister my clitoris. Also, this guy penis is all over my cunt. What recommendations can I give to Mike Hawk? <sighs> Thank you, Conan Gray. I appreciate it, bro. Well, you should really take good care of your cock. Okay, of my cock. It's really important that my cock is always in good shape. Okay. If he's down, try to make him feel better. Okay. <laughs> this guy paid to be funny. This guy paid to be funny. Okay. Mm. Specializes in range combat using ice. Using fire and ice. All right. We'll keep this for now. And then... Yeah, description would be string. Uh, string ranger, tangy description. And name would be string ranger, tangy name. There we go. We start with the name and then the description. There we go. And now the first one has this, which means here yeah, we can display that. Darken background, overlays. This would be only if we choose a selection. So we have the glow here, the second glow. And then a name and description. I think it can just be drawn on top, which means draw UI text. That would be... Um, Hero data dot name at a third position that would be world size dot x divided by two and then um, actually world size on y minus let's say 50 and over here we set a font size of two and a material I think the material comes first, actually. Of color palette 20, I think. That's green. We want to draw this in green. Guys, I told you, we're making big progress today. And we are f f finishing what I wanted to do yesterday. Big progress means this menu that you see today, gone. Gone! Done! Okay. Next would be this but instead of minus 50 we do minus 40 or 30 that is the not the name but the description and also i forgot dot render options i want this to be outlined outline there we go and then i want this to also be outlined and centered of course has to be here too but instead of a font size by 2 I want a 1.5 font size I think 2 might be a bit too much we'll see and instead of the name we want to have the description description there we go guys now here's where it gets interesting ah, nothing is selected yet oh wow <laughs> That's a bit big, I have to say. Um, yeah? Um, damn, son. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> that is a bit big. Let's... Um, how about this is 1, and then this is 1.5. And over here, we don't have a material. Because I want it to be white. Oh, yeah. Select something. Yeah. I think. This is actually not bad. Panel is behind the text. The panel is behind the text. What does that mean? Panel behind the text. 
Not sure what this guy means. I feel like moving these up by a little bit, giving my space, myself a little bit more space down here. The text, I think, is in a good location. But I want to have a button here that is choose, that says choose. Which means it's a suggestion to place a panel behind the hero name and description. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Why? Game's looking so dope. Thank you. Thank you to the left dad. Thank you. I. Thank you. Oh, I struggled so much yesterday. Oh, oh my God, the struggle. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you, man. Happy cakes. What's up? Hello, Kibule. No, nothing particularly. Guys, I have an idea. I have an actual cool idea. Instead of choose a hero, right? We draw that too. Here. Right. Uh, maybe 10. And this will be 1. And then this will be 10 G's. Guys, how would we spell 10 G's? This? Like, what is the multi... Was ist das? Was ist die Mehrzahl von 10 G? 10 G's? Change selection, maybe? Choose a hero to unlock. 1.5. That's gonna be uh, 16. Chan G. Chan G selection. And then boom. Maybe that's a bit. Oh, that's way too small. Yeah, I need other font, guys. Ay. Yeah. Changes would be a German plural for ein deutsches Wort. That's even, not even that is good enough. Choose a hero to unlock. I feel like the text is a bit too big. I mean, I can't scale it to 0.75, right? But that only works, actually only works because my UI is so big. Guys, I want to test something. No, I don't think that works. I don't think it works. It's the pixel art font, man. Not only your UI is so big. Selection, not section. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Of course. Selection. But it doesn't fit anymore then. I guess it kind of fits. Oh, kind of fits. All right. We are almost there, guys. Almost there. Now I want to move those a little bit up. They are too centered. I want to move that a little bit higher. I knew this was going to happen. I'm not even mad. I, I'm not even mad. Oh, no, no. Divided by two. Whoops. Oh, my man. Thank you very much for following Alberto. Or uh, subscribing on YouTube, Alberto. All right, let's see. This is better, I think, because it gives me more space. And then I can have... I feel like this is too big. Alright, guys. I'm gonna quickly test something that has to do with rendering. But I'm not gonna touch it. It is literally just a small little test. 
uh, load font. Um, this is the size of the font, right? I want to see what happens when move the name and description up a bit. Yeah, I will. I will. I will do that, Mr. Real Super Cool. Just wait. Just a second. Okay. Wait a minute. I will do that. 100%. Just wait. Okay. Mm, I just need to click some, uh, do something here. Yeah? What if we do 24? What size? Just the test. Now, the game will most likely look dog shit. Mm -hmm. It will most likely look shitty right now. Or the font atlas is no longer 512 should still be good enough. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like shit. You guys can see that FPS now has transparent pixels around it. Down here too. And if I take a look at all of this stuff, it is bigger. You see that? It looks kind of out of place, right? It's to be expected. It is to be expected. Expected. But that means if I'm uh, if I'm going back into the game here where I draw a font normally so for example display rounds where's that uh, where I say okay choose a hero to unlock this is the normal size of the font this is what it looks Obviously, it looks atrociously bad, right? And this is what I have as an issue with my pixel art font. If I go... Well, what is a multiple of 16? Well, it's 32, right? Well, we can try 32. Maybe you want to choose... Want those hero options to play their idle animation? Um... I don't know what people say or mean by not scaling font. However, it's really pissing me off because now we have a font that is atrociously big, right? This is the normal size of my font. And um, yeah, I have to say, that's too big, bro. That's too big. So yeah, I think what I need in the future is maybe a second font or I need to find out a way to not scale font at all. I don't know. 16. Let's go back. This is a problem that I've been dealing with for such a long time. Shader Toy doesn't really help me because Shader Toy uses their own internals and their own like engine thing. It needs to work in my engine in C++ with pixel art font or with like a different type of font. And I still have no clue how to properly do that. It's GLSL. Yeah, but their own, like it's different, bro. Trust me. All right. Now we move the Ranger 10G up a bit. I guess I'll keep it that big. It's fine. It looks a little bit big and over the top. But it doesn't matter. Let's just finish this and be done. Right, choose a hero to unlock. What do we want to do? Well, I want to move that label by our animation T down. And the same holds true for this. I wonder if that even works. Let's see how that looks. So essentially, it is this thing should be animated down now. I mean, almost. And the sprite, of course. No, the sprite is also doing that. Let's see. Is the text moving the same as the sprite? Yeah, looks good. I think it's fine. Okay, now that this is animated, I think this can just appear. It's very cool, but Cakes doesn't trust me. Rizuma, stop. Stop complaining, bro. It's not about trusting you, bro. Has absolutely nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I have used Shader Toy in the past, okay? It didn't help me at all. 
that absolutely never helped me in any situation because even if it worked in shader toy and i copied over the exact code into my engine it wouldn't work okay it is different i have a different setup than shader toy okay bro so i would just waste my time and then to not waste my time um i just won't, won't do it won't engage with that unfortunately that's how it is mm, okay now we just need to put that here and then move this up a bit uh, minus let's do 70 and that would be 50 then do you have to change it literally yes you have to change it yeah and also you have to understand how they do it and then convert it to how you do it which maybe a little bit higher maybe 10 pixels higher and we are golden so 80 and 60. And then down there, we can do a button. Unlock button, and we are golden. If do button, and then sprite button unlock hero at a position of, you know what? Oh, whatever we just hard code the position here you know what no we don't do that vec2 <sighs> uh, info position is this i don't like hard coding this stuff because then i can't change this anymore and have to change it in multiple places places where here i can just do info position and then info position dot y plus equals 20 right now i know that there's a padding between the two and i can just use info position here again and i can just change this value to move it up oh don't yell at rizoma shut the fuck up bitch shut your mouth okay i'm i'm not yelling at all now if you are a pussy and can't understand what i mean then that's on you you know i'm not responsible for your feelings bitch Uh, maybe you need to listen to what I mean more. All right, let's see. Assets, button options. These are buttons. Now we have a sprite button unlock hero. God, I see that. I told you. There it is. I told you I was gonna smash code today. Now, obviously, that's not the right button yet. Uh, we're gonna change that now. We have a button base, which is here. Maybe that's a bit big. I think it's fine. Eh? No, the wrong layer. I think we just need to stretch that button a little bit. You guys think this is too much? Maybe that's good enough. 64 pixels. But I have a feeling that we should probably... Make a new gradient here. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Move in the button a little bit. Uh, how big is it for this text? It's actually very small. I don't like that. I think I'll do this. That's 18, right? Is that 18? That's 19. I guess I'll do 20. And then shift G. Hopefully. There is never a button. That is bigger. Uh oh. It actually doesn't fit here anymore. Shit. Where do I put this now? 
I guess below here or something. Alright, where is it? 1136 and 1112. One one three six and one one twelve. And what do we have as a size? Wait, it's actually bigger than sixty four now. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, sixty four by twenty. Okay, sixty four by twenty. Now we have that button. Save and export this atlas. Oh no! <laughs> they, they, I forgot uh, to keep this off. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no sliced buttons, panels, frames. Um, I currently can't do a sliced button properly. That or sliced frame. I have. I have those. Tranquil. Um. But in most cases, I don't need a sliced button. I just need a sliced menu. I do have those, but it's more work to have a sliced menu look good than a sliced button. All right, let's see. Button should show up now. It's not showing up. Okay. Bruh. Oh, I see. Why not? Oh, yeah, it needs a line ID of one. There we go. And then we also want to do a do text. That is, um, string unlock hero at the info position using material index. Uh, let's get the string first. String unlock hero, comma. I just want to have this done, you know, guys. I need... I need a W, guys. I'm basically, what I'm doing right now is farming a W. Okay. I'm farming a W. And I'm not stopping until I'm done. But if I get interrupted by my wife, I might have to stop. Huh? Just a minute. The journey is usually the part that you remember anyways. <laughs> How can this application be so dumb? It never... No, I don't want to deal with this right now. I have... No, this is... This is fucking trash! Sheesh, donations.
because more than one means No! What? What just happened there? Let's go. <clears throat> All right. Why is this complaining? Undeclared identifier, eh? Oh, it's called draw. Of course. Okay, now, hopefully we won't get distracted anymore. And we can finish this. Did the sucker finally fix his image? Should I ban this guy? I'm thinking about banning this guy! Bitch! Outline. Centered. Just wait. Bitch. Oof. Wait. Mm-hmm. Unlock hero. Did I just mark this as A? I did not. Unlock heroes. I see. So that's how I unlock heroes. Okay. Wait. I totally forgot how that was done. Shit. Is bit so I need to do a bit of that. All right, let's go back here. Bit of the hero type ID or equals that, and then I need to save the game. There we go. And why is this still complaining? What is wrong with you? Text position, text data. Text position, text data. Bitch. Why are you complaining? Text data. Cannot convert initializer list. Okay. Dot material exists. So render data is probably... Ah, it's render options. Sorry about that. It's actually render options. Anyone ask why we get toxic? What do you mean he wonders why he gets toxic? You are toxic first, you dumbo. He said sucker. Okay, he said sucker. Are you using Momo Games Framework? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, yeah. That's how good my framework is. Mm -hmm. No, like, I use my own. I use my own. It's just a joke. Like, it's a joke that my framework is actually really good. And you think that's Momo Game because the framework is so good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The button is here, guys. Um, Not sure why it's there, though. Oh, it's multiplied. It's It's got to be plus here, bro. There you go. There it is, guys. Oh, it doesn't fit. I like my penis. Okay. It's always issues. Okay. That's, hey, where's this thing on? Where the fuck is this thing on? 11? Are you high? Right, I guess we make it this big, huh? 
Now let's hope that there's not a Japanese, Chinese or whatever character list that is even bigger than this. What is that now? 112 plus 32? 100... Um, oh, it's 80. I get it now, okay. So instead of 64, it's 80. That should be fine, right? Sucker isn't toxic? Of course it is. It means that I suck. Wait. Just want to create a screenshot here. Live chat. Yeah. I, I have proof, guys. I have proof. This time, I have proof. I have proof. Watch. This is what I saw just a second ago. This is what I saw. I, this time I, I came prepared. I catched it. This is the actuality. This is what I saw. Fake news? No, it's not fake news. It's actually true. This is what I saw just a second ago. So what are, what what are you guys saying? Sorry about that. I really like I didn't even see the the coffee message. Oh my god. You see how much I miss on YouTube just because this shit doesn't refresh sometimes. It seems to happen every single day. Every day this happens. Cakes, he asked this 10 minutes ago. He left already. Yeah, I read that. I read that up until for the defender. Walker as the Texas Ranger. Oh, Walker is also cool. Code and green, thank you. Hello, Jova. What the fuck did I just tune into? Looks good. Cakes, I'm starting to doubt that you are German. Your pronunciation of J is not German. You claimed Ranger is a German word. Firster, and you guys are supposed to be punctual and efficient. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You guys could add some, you could add some lighting or something uh, to the wood thing behind the choose hero text. That looks, uh, that looks kind of bland at the moment. Yeah, thank you, Jova. Stop stalling. We are waiting for Jcraft. Did he greet you, Jova? Or did he grow on your know, YouTube chat? No, this guy. It's okay. We can read each other's messages. True. Who needs cakes anyways? Yeah, this is our chat now. Would be funny if he breaks a new record the longest time he ignored YouTube chat was when he was playing Dark Souls and didn't read chat for almost 1 hour and 15 minutes. Nails from Real Supoku. Hello Inukai. Okay, bro. I bet he is shouting, uh, I bet she's shouting at him for ignoring YouTube for 30 minutes. I know for a fact Cake's wife is very fond of us YouTube chatters. <laughs> More like no, no game. Inukai, we can product pop out Twitch chat and overlay it on top of this one. True fake news. High quality YouTube chat. I tuned in during the conversation about Cox Limau. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm very sorry if I miss the YouTube chat sometimes. It just doesn't update. It doesn't update. And it's not that live chat is the only thing that displays messages. Top chat displays them too. You see that? But it's just that top chat sometimes just doesn't update. I have to literally go here toggle live chat and then toggle top chat again just to see your guys's messages and when i'm in like coding or whatever i just forget that right i just assume that okay no one is writing anything on youtube there's not that many people watching fine right they're just chilling try a different browser toggle bit on spliff never have this problem i can't because i want my browser to have this split option see like i have two windows in one maybe it's that Maybe it is this option. But I only have two monitors, right? I can only put you guys on one monitor. For the new VRs, he does this all the time and makes the same excuse. Anyways, so yeah, I'm very sorry, guys. I don't mean to ignore anyone. It's just a really annoying problem. Unlock heroes. So wait, that's a bit off. So... Guess I wanna put this one. Oh, actually. So then that's gotta be, wait, zero on X, two here, and otherwise one. Let's see what happens if I click the button. Uh -huh. I guess it moves down by two, so it's gotta be three and two. 
Thank you very much for following uh, Geotic. Good morning. Try a different browser. Yeah, well, you can install. You cannot install the optional Google Chrome extension, I believe. You can't open two windows and each take up half the screen. No, no. If you have two windows, then it's really annoying to toggle them. Huh? Wait. If the button is active, do I want to move it four pixels down? Actually? Where are you from, my friend? From Germany, bro. Where are you from? Good morning. Should we buy a new monitor for chat only? Should we buy it? No, like, I don't even know where to put the monitor. Like, I know it's doable. Okay, like, the hero is unlocked, guys. The hero is unlocked right now. Which is awesome. So, that worked. We have the hero showing up here now. Now we just need to close this window. And maybe, like, put the button a little bit further down, right? To create some separation. Uh. Uh. Like 30. Hear me out, Cakes. What about free TTS for YouTube? That seems to be the only sensible solution. No, absolutely not. No way. Guys, that will never happen. Stop asking for free TTS. It will not happen. Okay? It will not. I'm tired of TTS, okay? I'm so tired. I've been listening to this for like over one year. Maybe almost two years. Absolutely not. I'm having so much fun streaming this way. Okay? It's fine if like someone donates something, subscribes and then writes a TTS message. That's awesome. You know, bits, whatever. But constant, free? Absolutely not. I, I will go insane. Alright, okay, cool. Now that we can unlock heroes, we need to close this menu. And we need to make sure that we pop up this menu. So, I think what I want to do is the following. There's two ways to do this. I could say, well, okay, fine. I only display this menu if it's not actually an active modal. Well, hmm. Let's see, let's mark this as A and then uh, rounds plus plus plus. Rounds plus plus. Plus equals. Round plus equals. Round equals. Round. Round count. Level state. Level state. Round. Round index. There it is. Start a new round. There we go. So now we have to check. Start a new round. Level stage, new round, round preparation. There we go. Now, this is the um, unlock heroes on certain rounds. So, if round index or level state, round index plus one is the same as three, and well, actually this should be the second check the first check should be is our uh, do we have the save state here i don't game state save state dot um unlock hero flags and uh, unlock is it called unlock hero or uh, i forgot <sighs> Unlock hero flags, unlock hero events. Uh, event reach round three. Yeah, there you go. I want event reach round three. If we don't have that yet. So maybe we basically check for this event. Have we not reached that yet? And we are, in fact, reaching round three after the plus plus. Then I want to do game state or pop active modal. Game state. Unlock hero modal. There we go. So that would be the first one. And I guess we can do a bunch of these. Right? 
So now round three is done. I want to do round six. And then over here, it is round 10, I think. And we have to also do six and 10. And I think the last one or the next one was 15. I think it was 15. There we go. And it has to be 15 too. And do we have more than that? I think we don't, right? Yeah, that's the... The beginning for now, we can unlock four heroes. All right, so now that we can pop... No, not pop. Push. It's not pop. Oops, actually, it's push. Push. Push, and it's just called push modal. Whoops. Now, generally speaking, pushing the same modal twice doesn't do anything. And we should not be able to reach round 10 without choosing a hero in round 6, right? So now that we are able to push a modal, we can... Let's mark this as B and switch back to A. Now we can just ask, well, okay, is our modal active? If the modal is active... Maybe there could be a cool animation, but for now it just unlocks the hero. Which I think unlocking the hero should be cool. It should be cooler. Um, okay, where's that? Mm, to do store level name, level state. Where am I? The button here. If we do the button, then we pop active modal. Game state. Choose. Eh? Display or something? Game state. What is this name again? Unlock. Unlock. Unlock hero modal ID. We pop the active modal, but we need to do more. Anim time. Animation. Wait, what is it called again? Of course, I forget these names. So we need to reset the animation time, the timer. And the chosen hero, I guess, can stay. Great. Now, where was I just typing? It's not called timer. Fuck, I forgot it again. What was it called? Oh, it's called timer. Actually, it was called timer. Okay. Reset the timer for the animation. Anything I forgot. Oh, yeah. Also. Um, chosen... Wait, game state? Unlockable heroes? Dot clear. So, now, what I want to do is switch back to this. I can push the modal, but I can also say which heroes we can unlock. Which uh, the heroes we can unlock. Right, if I switch back to A, currently I do that here. Um, no, I do that here. There you go. Did I just type in a B character? Can someone clip that, please? I, I typed in a B? Alright, we clear and then we add. We add the ranger. What can we do here? Ranger healer. And I suppose the seed tree. Seed tree. Alright, and depending on which heroes I have not yet unlocked. Level 6 will be different. But I'll do that later. Okay, guys. Now we can play the game. Actually. We can actually play the game. Oh, yes. Finally. Okay, so for those of you who, who guys... Uh, for those of you guys who were wondering... Yes, I managed to fix... I managed to fix the... 
the UI problem yesterday with the blending. We now have UI blending in the game and you will be able to see that when I reach round 3. Shouldn't that give me like a cool little animation? Why didn't that drop? Okay, so uh, I guess blending is still a little bit odd. Have to fix that, it looks like. Awesome. Some blending still sucks. But of course. Alright, let's go. Give this guy another... Oh, his first ability. Okay, cool. I think I'm gonna add another one here. Round two is easy. And so in Bloons, they make it dependent on the level, the level of your hero. Maybe I make it so that uh, it is also dependent on the hero for me. Uh-oh, are they losing? Nah, they won't lose, right? It's another skill point here. I'm late today. Did we fix the blending issue from yesterday? Yes, sir. Watch this. Watch. It's supposed to not have that. It's supposed to not have that. Not have that. And of course, if we unlock the heroes, we also do game state save state dot unlock hero flags or equals event reach round three and then over here round six and then this is more involved i'll do that later yeah just wait um didn't fill that in yet yeah six very nice. Cool. Now it's going to work. Watch. Watch. Where do these come from? I can't beat them. What the fuck? I need to cheat then. I need to give him a better weapon. Maybe he can beat them with more deeps. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, you can. Alright. Now. There we go. Look at that. Cool. And now we can select one of them. Now, these two don't have any descriptions, right? They look a bit odd, the tree too. But there we go. This is the one ranger, you know, that I was talking about. And obviously, this should actually stop, but it's not. This is the new window. We can now unlock heroes by playing the game. And now, as we unlock this, bloop, we have a new hero right here. Now, I think there's one extra step that Bloons does. This is really slow now. I think I'm, I'm taking my time here. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. I'm an idiot. Now it's loading 10 days. I'm such a dumbass. Fuck. It's lagging right now. No mouse over highlight. And now you click on them. 
You tap on them and then you tap unlock. Master M. The calculations are in hand. Oh, and come on, load. I hate that, you the know. The powers of your brain are overwhelming. It, like, this thing is so leggy. Like, look at this. It's completely broken. Simply just because I slow down. Look at that shit. What an annoying thing. All right, there it is. Now I level up. Click on this. Are you making a Bloons clone? I'm making a tower defense game that is heavily inspired by Bloons, yes. All right, so hovering doesn't do anything. We click on a hero. I think I click on this guy. And then you unlock. Aha. So it does a cool little out animation when the hero is already chosen. The other heroes go in size down and that thing spins and okay it spins faster but i think i'll just leave it like this for now it doesn't have to be in a crazy animation thing now that we have the ranger we can use him cool he doesn't have any abilities yet and doesn't deal any damage because these guys are physical guys and now what i need to fix tomorrow you guys can see that the gold drops here the blending for them is wrong and maybe we have to change the blend mode for the ui one more time ah uh, yeah of course they attack as well right i place this guy in an awkward situation where he gets he gets shit on uh oh might actually have to yeah these guys maybe they spawn a little bit too early Because they are literally very heavy armored units. Hmm. Yeah, and the next one will be round six. After three hours of trial and error, finally, no more issues with texture baking. Yeah. I think you should uh, you should make covering do something like an outline. Some people would appreciate that. Nah, I won't. It won't. It's... Yeah, now we have Unlock Heroes and then uh, it gives me an actual implemented level difficulty. Ah, I see. So, basically, we are done at round six. It looks like. Okay, cool. Now we have this. The skeleton died, but took your HP down. The skeleton didn't die. If the skeleton dies, they spawn a smaller skeleton. Do you draw each map manually? This is a tile set. Island Moonlight. I use this. Uh, I use a tile set to design these, and uh, this is basically how it's done. Oh, why is this check mark? It should always draw me ambient lights. Or maybe it doesn't do that here. Interesting. The ambient light should always apply here. Not sure why, but okay. It's fine. It's okay. I wonder why there is a small... Or maybe this is because of the camera. That could be because of camera issues here. Anyways, I have a tile editor where... That looks awfully misplaced. Weird. Control G. Or G. Was it G? Yeah. Don't I have a grid anymore? I guess the grid's gone. But yeah, I can select tiles here and then place them like this in a certain layer. And I can also make layers visible and invisible. And yeah, I guess I have to fix this menu again after changing my UI. Um, but yeah, that's how I will design levels. It's all there. Most of the stuff is uh, that I need is there, but some stuff still has to be implemented. And, you know, most of the levels that I have are completely broken at the moment. I had like six levels with a bunch of... With a bunch of stuff in them. But uh, since I'm constantly ch changing the game... Um, yeah. They are kind of broken at the moment, right? Because I work on one level and one level only, which is campsite crossroads it's the one level that we work on and that's it i remember when this game looked blurry as fuck 
I know it looks sharp. Art style looks much better. Good job. Thank you, man. Thank you. Game Maker 4. No, this is uh, my own engine. Broken. Yeah. Anyways. I'm happy. I finally did this. Is competitive multiplayer in yet? No, not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> oh. Is this map mon mon just Monkey Meadow? Yeah, this map is just Monkey Meadow for recognizability. Exactly. Okay, guys, we made a very we made very good progress today. 